Glory be to God in the highest. Thank God, it is Friday. I want to bless the name of the Lord. The last Friday of October is here. And we thank God for His faithfulness, for His loving kindness. And I want to encourage you, don't give up until it is up. Because God is on your side. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we are grateful for who you are, for all you've done and you are doing since the beginning of this year, even the beginning of our lives. We are praying, O God Almighty, please arise for our sake, step in for us, and let your name be glorified. Today again, please speak to us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So friends, um, many times... A lot of people, I've seen a lot of people that God blessed, they were nobody, they never hoped they would be where they are. And when they got to where they are, it's there for them to extend the good hand of God to other people. They shut the door against many. I've seen somebody before that somebody helped to get a job and he was doing well in the company. And suddenly, somebody is asking for the privilege to come into the company to help. And he said, no, they don't need people like you. And the man that helped him in heard the story and called him. So what kind of people do we need in this office? If I said that to you, will you be where you are today? And he was sober. Friends, don't let somebody remind you where you were when God picked you up. Or when God sent you an helper. We all need somebody to lean on. Lean on me, my friend, when you are not strong. And that's why the topic today is be gracious. In Matthew chapter 18, if you read from verse 27 through to 30, Matthew 18, 27 through to 30, I will just paraphrase. The story there is that a man was owing his master and the master picked him up and said, you must pay me today. And the man appealed to the master, sir, there's no way I can pay this money today. Please give me some time. I will pay. And the man, the Bible says he, he, he looked upon him and he, was, he felt bad. And he said to show him mercy. He felt compassion in his direction. And he said to the man, okay, don't worry, don't even pay again, just go. And while he let him go, he met another person who was now owing him, a junior person or his colleague. And he began to ride on the guy, he began to fight the guy, and he said they should put him in prison until they pay him his money. Now, if you put somebody in prison until he pays your money, how will he get the money? He's not working, he's in prison, how will he get it? Many of us, we don't remember that God has shown us with grace. It is of the mercy of God we have not been consumed. And now you don't show people mercy. How will it that be? The Bible says in Mark 11, 24 to 26, He said, when you pray, God will answer your prayer. Say, but it is on the condition that if while you are praying, you remember that you have a heart against someone, somebody offended you, or somebody you offend is unhappy with you, He said, go and resolve. And go and forgive. If you don't forgive, your Father in heaven will not forgive you. Dear man, he was oppressing another man and his master came and acquitted and deserted the other man and threw him into prison that the dot what this man is owing i'm just adding that the dot what this man is owing you from what you are owing me is a very small portion if i can forgive you why can't you forgive the man and he went on and that the same way god is watching luke 6 31 say do unto other people how you want them to do to you don't forget that. Be gracious. God bless you.